Let's take a trip around South Ah with our flavors. Now, do you enjoy putting a twist on South African flavors and dishes? Well, why not try our version of a traditional papoti? Say hello to the scrumptious Excella sardine papoti served with a yellow raisin rice that, mm, is the taste of pure excellence. Now, do me Friend. talk about getting an A in class. Friend, I did the test on the South African flavors, <laughs> and one thing that stood the test of time was a boboti. Yeah. South Africans love their boboti. They love making, putting twists on it. South Africans have done almost everything with boboti, and so we're thinking if y'all can do that, then we should be able to put a tin fish twist on it. Mkulang yeah. is between a tin fish. Meal. Same, tin yeah. fish is a staple in our household. You know? It is just quick, easy, it is versatile and convenient. I love the fact that you mentioned versatile because it's almost as versatile as our excellent pure sunflower oil, which is what we're going to be basically starting our boboti with today. Um, the one thing that most people don't know about boboti is that the flavors are so Cape Malay, they're so signature yeah. to South Africa. But I've loved how, as South Africans, we always find a way of making sure that our dishes are always made with pure excellence. Mm. And that is what I love about Excella. It is in itself just pure excellence. The sunflower oil, my friend, you could do literally everything with it. Namtlanje, yes, we're using it to make a beautiful, scrumptious, delicious boboti. You could bake with it, you could grill with it, mm. you could literally use it in all those uh, applications. High heat applications are perfect for our uh, Excella sunflower oil. So I'm going to start layering it up now. As you can see, it's an odorless oil that you can use. It's mm. neutral, helping to enhance the flavors of no that you're actually that you're making. That you're putting in. Mm. And speaking about South African flavors, tin fish is something that is on that uh, flavor 100 plus um, kind of spread that Abu Tabi saw were going through mm -hmm. earlier. And here we are adding it to this mixture and you've also got an array of ingredients yeah. next to you. Yeah, I do my friend. So we've started off with our onions that we're going to be sautéing nicely here um, and I'm also going to add, like we always talk about whenever you're cooking, you mm. build flavour, you yeah. layer the flavours. Yeah. Let me just start with adding the parts that need to be cooked quickest or uh, cooked first. Okay. And that's our onions, our carrots, our garlic and then we go in with our spices, a bit of, I've got a bit of curry powder but also just mixed in the turmeric in there okay. just to obviously give us those flavour elements. And a little bit of some curry leaves here. Same curry leaves that we used earlier when we were making our Durban curry, yum. Yeah. And also, you see, this is exactly what Charmaine and I were speaking about earlier. The fact that there will always be onions and garlic and yep. ginger at the base. You can add, of course, those curry leaves if you are someone with a bit of a curry taste yeah. to you. And that's also what makes this proudly South African. Yes, definitely. Also adding some bay leaves here. So at this point, if you feel like you want to be a bit more adventurous and add more flavors, definitely add a bit, a couple of different more spices that are signature to you. Mm. But we're giving you the basics and how we do it in our afternoon express kitchen. Lovely. So Pali, I'm literally just going to layer up here. But obviously our boboti, we want to make sure we serve it with something that's also going to carry the flavor yes. of our of our dish. That's where I come in. <laughs> that is where coming. I come in. So I'm on rice duty today, clearly. Yes, It is are. quite obvious. I'm on rice <laughs> duty, but no, no, no. I'm so, so happy to be on rice duty because today we are using our Excella Thai rice. Now, Excella Thai rice is an affordable, premium quality product, perfect for everyday meals. And today, all I need is just a cup. Voila! And, I mean, this has a great taste. It is white, it is fluffy when cooked. It's versatile for savory and sweet dishes. And a little feeds the entire family. The so, entire family. Boom, I go in there. You've, I've already had my water boiling. Yep. Because that also just helps with cooking it a whole lot faster. And to make a signature de rice, I'm going to be adding some turmeric in here. That's also just for that yellow colour that we promised you. And that's what I also love about the Excella um, Thai rice. Because of the fact that it cooks fluffy and white, mm -hmm. you're going to get that beautiful popping colour yes. when you add your turmeric. And that's what makes it the perfect ingredient for those everyday meals that you make. Definitely. And you know, who who says a puputi is a puputi without a little sweetness? A little bit of sweetness. So <laughs> I've gone in with some brown sugar. I'm just going to add a little bit more. I'm not going to add too much because I don't like my puputi too sweet because the raisins will also help with that sweetness. Girl, you don't like anything. Thing too sweet. You <laughs> want to make sure there's balance, and that's the one thing I love about you. Balance yep. those flavors. Life is all about balance. It is, girl. No, okay, so for today's recipe, I've decided to go for ground cinnamon. But at home, if you do have cinnamon sticks, pop in those cinnamon sticks. But I'll just go in with my 
cinnamon there. We've got some butter for that extra creaminess. Friend, I'm smelling all those beautiful aromas coming through. Mm. I actually just that punch from the cinnamon hit me right in the face. Immediately, <laughs> nah. you know. And then these awesome flavors we've put together here. I've already added our soaked bread, which is one of the important step when making it bobochi. You've got that okay. soaked bread to help bind everything together. And another important step, as I'm going to add this into our baking tray, is we're going to be adding that in important custard topping, which mm. has our eggs in here. We've added some eggs, some milk, and a bit of turmeric as well. So basically, I can start layering it now, adding the base of our boboti, our sardine boboti. Once I've added the sardine boboti, I'm then going to top it up with our egg custard. Yum. This baby goes into the oven, and because we're using tin sardines, it won't need that long to cook. Because so, the, the sardines are already cooked correct. through. So in essence, all we're going to need is about 10 minutes, 15 minutes to get that beautiful custard nice and golden brown. And our boboti is done. And the rice is on the way. Alakazam, alakazoom. <laughs> As you have just witnessed, Mzansi, with Excella, meals are made excellent. To get your hands on this recipe, simply head over to our website, afternoonexpress.co.za. Now let's keep unlocking flavors. Meet Afternoon Express's guests. Excella Pure Sunflower Oil, Thai Long Grain Rice and Mayonnaise. A taste of pure excellence for meals made excellent.